Howdy. It's been exactly one week since the last video in which we found out that my leukemia had returned and I had indeed relapsed. One week on from then and we have received a call from the hospital sort of outlining what the next steps will be. But before we get into that, let me tell you about the week I've had. So obviously it's been quite a surreal sort of week and we've gone about it first by making some very dramatic changes to my diet. So the approach we're going for this time is not to just rely on medication and treatment from the hospital, but also to be more mindful about what I'm putting in my own body because this new remission has got my parents, especially mum, into doing a bit of research, you know, and thinking what can be done to help, not exactly cure, but what can be done alongside treatment to make it more effective, alright? And what comes out of that research is that you start to find that there's a lot of things you can do. Now the hospitals will tell you just put calories into the body, you know, because they don't want you losing weight because that leads to a whole another load of problems which you don't want to have. So the doctors, their priority is to get you to eat. But what we're trying to, um, you know, be mindful of this time is not to just eat whatever's got the most calories, but to really think about the kind of stuff that we are eating. So let me tell you what I mean. So, for example, pork, bacon, sausages, uh, all the best meats. Not really supposed to eat those anymore. Something about pigs and their diet and how the meat is processed and stuff doesn't really lend itself to curing cancer. Meat that is good. Lamb, because they are fed off only grass. And that is supposed to be good. Chicken, if it's organic, good. Dairy, bad, apparently. Not sure why. Something to do with cows. Sugar, bad, also. Because, apparently, sugar feeds cancer cells. Who would have thought? Not I. So, less sugar is what we're trying to do. Organic produce, good. Less pesticides and chemicals, good. Ginger, very good. Avocado, very good. Turmeric, good. We're trying to have a wide range of colours in the diet. So you know when you got your red peppers, your green peppers and your yellow peppers? All that, all that stuff. Carrots, good. The one thing to remember here though, is that anything in excess, bad. You need to have a range of stuff, alright? And you can't just have what has the most calories. That is the epiphany that we have had. And we're going to see how it goes this time. If I get cured again, and cancer doesn't come back, maybe we could call that a success. The point is, I'm trying to make positive changes to help my own treatment. Alright? which is a perfect opportunity to talk about that treatment. So the hospital called this afternoon. They say, we've got a plan for you. Turns out that targeted chemotherapy that I spoke about last week won't work. Uh, they did a couple of tests to try and weigh up if the leukemia will respond to it, and it doesn't. So we're going to go with good old-fashioned stick it to them chemotherapy. And that will involve, of course... Myself, probably having a line put in, nice little Hickman line or a pick line or something. Put a bit of chemo in, and I believe it's going to be like two sessions a day, uh, like every other day, for three sessions. So it'd be like the first day, skip a day, chemo on the third day, skip a day, chemo on the fifth day. Yeah? So that's how it's going to go. And then it's just that sort of recovery process after that. So, uh, you know, just waiting for the cells to grow back. We've done it before. We've done it three, four times before. You know, back in poor hospital days. 
easy peasy. Uh, the only difference is this time because I've got a transplant, you know, immune system, it might take a little bit longer to grow back. But that's not an issue. What's a few more weeks in hospital, you know? I'm just glad that we now have a plan and can relax a little bit knowing what's happening. So I'm due to be admitted sometime in the near future, you know, probably no more than a, a week. Um, and it's now just down to the, the team at the ward in Southampton to get things prepared for me. And that is now where we stand. So I will do my best to keep you all informed as we go about this journey. Do subscribe to the channel and press the little bell next to that so that you are alerted when I upload a new video and you will be up to date on my progress. But for now though, that is all today. Bye.